So Gorebridge, 15 miles south of Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, has got a lot of stuff going on, uh, on especially around the old Blinkbonny mine, uh, the old Roman camp, also called Gowk's Hill. Gowk in Scotland is somewhat of a distracted state of mind. On top of Gowk's Hill, or the camp, or whatever you want to call it, is an awful lot of UFO activity taking place. Um, stuff has been seen up there on a frequent basis for decades. Um, you'll see this stuff uh, flying about. Now, some say that you know these are UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, but they don't belong to any military that comes from planet Earth. That's for sure because they flit in and out of uh, you know invisibility. They, they sort of light up and then they go invisible. So, I mean, most droids owned by the military are little helicopter things with, and they make a lot of noise and they buzz about and all that stuff and whirring about and, you know, these things are, you know, these are, these are not fr from technology that belongs to planet Earth. You can see from it flying against, uh, I think that's a grey lag goose actually, wingspan of about six or seven feet. So they're about six or seven feet across. Um, and they're all over the place. I think the aliens use them for surveillance and just to keep an eye on the local area, see who, who's coming, who's going, stuff like that. Certainly, it will give you a look over if you're if you're about there. So these droids are part and parcel of a big alien effort out at the camp in Gorebridge. Some people say if you go walking up on the hills around there you'll see the, the coastline magnified right in front of you, you know. It's it's as if there's invisible ships parked there that are projecting what's behind them in front and magnifying them in, in the process. Big structures over um, Gorebridge. Most recent stuff by Jackie Gillies was of... Well, he was, he's got these laser sights now and he's waving the laser sights about in the local area and it seems to be getting them all agitated and they seem to be coming out of the woodwork and running about manifesting right in front of them. There are these sort of um, events taking place in Gorebridge where at night you can see these areas of, uh, I think at one point there was the old churchyard lit up like a discotheque, multicoloured lights and you could see this tall seven foot robot thing with a visor on it <laughs> and so greys running about and creating strange looking fires and stuff like that in the local area. It's a bit disturbing. You see that stuff on your roof stomping about like it was at a video game like Doom 2 strolling up and down on top of your rooftop and then you see flashes happening and frequencies and stuff in the garden and the dog being lifted up by its throat off, off the floor and is low level flyovers of of uh, UFOs and dogs howling that shouldn't be howling, you know, and this kind of stuff. And then, well, I've already mentioned elsewhere about the men in black scenario with Colonel Joe and stuff. Now, we have had someone called um, Andre Hudson, who was ex Special Forces, up on the hill surveilling the place and noticing little lights popping out of. Um, you know, existence here and there, all over the place. It's as if little portals are opening up. So there's all sorts of stuff tuned and detuned in and around Gorebridge. Very interesting place to be. Um, I just not want to be there uh, on on my own in one spot for too long. You know, not that I would uh, encourage you to sort of go there, other than to participate in the tourist trade. I would watch out for things like trespass and stuff, obviously, and. Uh, but this stuff is going on, and this stuff is flying about. And these are some, these are washing machine sized things flying about. Um, and I think I've actually got photographs elsewhere of the little greys that are manipulating these things. They've got like a sort of controller on their shoulder, and it flies out from the shoulder, and these things go flying. Out. It's 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 as if two or three of these are controlled by by the one sentinel. One sentry is just sort of um, flying them about and then maybe gathering images from sensory data, stuff like that. So it is a busy place, Gorebridge. So um, definitely tons of UFO activity going on as of the fall of 
2012.